Hello everyone! Merry Christmas! Welcome to my home. Come on! Welcome to my channel. Today is really special because it marks the beginning of my Christmas vlog series. Christmas time is the happiest season of the year. Not only for most people, but most especially for my children. I really designed it that way. I really made sure na simula pa lang ng mga bata sila, they really would look forward to the Christmas season. Because dun lalabas lahat ng Christmas decorations ko, Christmas recipes, our traditions, our gift-giving traditions, and many, many others, which I will be sharing with you in the coming weeks. So, join me as I give you a mini home tour of my home and explain to you the Christmas decors that I have collected over the years. very familiar to all of you because my children post a lot of photos here they have a lot of photo shoots in my home I post a lot here and of course my vlog is shot entirely in my home but now I'm going to share with you how I fixed for Christmas Medyo, I'm very big on Christmas the way I am with Christmas is every corner has to have something that has to do with Christmas but talaga naman, we just need it especially ngayong pandemic season we need anything that will make us happy and what makes us even more happy than colors and the sparkles of Christmas and the scent of Christmas so I went all out this year because I wanted to be extra happy because of all the things that have been happening in the pandemic this is the best way to end the year so here we go first of all there is no Christmas in my home without poinsettias importante yun eh it just brings really the Christmas spirit to me and then when I mean like I was um, about 20 when I had my own home I used to be more OA with Christmas because I would actually change the whole upholstery. Pinapagon ko yan ng seat cover ng Christmas, either green or red. Pero medyo nagmature na ako at ayoko namang ganun ka OA. What I do is I change na lang the pillowcases. And I've gone through a lot of phases in my life. I wanted all white, all gold, all silver. But you know, yung talagang namamayag pag sa puso ko is red and green. Talaga naman, this is the color of Christmas. I know that there are so many Christmas colors of this year, di ba? But red and green, ito talaga ang Pasko. So, this pillowcase, meron akong suke na mananahe na we just buy the tela. And then, I've had this for many, many years. So, of course, we have reds. So, again, every corner matters. So, we have more fresh pancetias. Ito na bibili to sa Quezon Memorial Circle, yung bilihan ng mga halaman. Suking suki talaga ako doon. And there was a phase in my life that I wanted everything kiddy. So, ito pa yung remnants noon. So, we have this for the kids. I have an eight year old daughter, and of course, I also have a granddaughter. So, she will enjoy this. I hope she doesn't break it. <laughs> okay. This one? Okay, I just got this in SNR. So, I think SNR has a lot of happy Christmas decor that I buy little by little. So, every corner should have that Christmas spirit. That is why, even on top of our mirror, palagay rin ako ng lights. And, you know, itong mga balls na to, these are mga sobra sobra mga nabili ko. So, para hindi naman masayang, we just put them together. And you know, over the years, I've had these and lang siya. Okay, so I'm going to lead you over to our Christmas tree. So right now, we are in another part of the house. We call this the extension because it's an extension of our old living room. But this is really basically our family area. We have also details here like this one. Okay, ito nabili natin to sa Dapitan. I really bought this for Christmas Noche Buena. I was thinking na sa setup namin, I would put that and then there's candles 
inside and then makikita mo it the light of the candle comes out through the windows the pitan arcade has so many christmas decors and i've been buying from them over the years again i put throw pillows but this one caught my attention like two three christmases ago i bought this in crate and barrel i just bought a few pieces from them because it could be pricey but nice but it is a good reminder for everybody to be grateful. I mean, no matter what our circumstances are in life, however crazy our year has been, at the end of the year, especially during Christmas season, we have to learn how to be grateful and thankful. Pareho lang bayon, grateful and thankful. But we just have to have an attitude of gratefulness and um, contentment and just, you know, that's the source of happiness, eh? Pag grateful and thankful ka. So this is a good reminder, not only for me, but for my children, that we should have an attitude of this. Okay, now, so now we go to our Christmas tree. But first, I forgot to mention, I said how detail I want, so I also put in my light, diba? Wala lang. Just the little touches really mean a lot. Well, I think growing up, my mom was really big on Christmas. Talagang pag Christmas, grabe siya mag-decorate. She can even put pine leaves into the house. Everything is fixed, including our kitchen. I think nakuha ko yun sa kanya. As a mom, I carried it over with me. I think it's a very good tradition. Okay, so now we go to my Christmas tree. I just need to, to tell everybody that nothing here is newly bought. Everything has been with me for many, many years. Especially ngayong pandemic tayo. We don't have to buy new things. We just have to use our old ones. And we can continue to use our old Christmas decor if only we know how to store them properly. Kaya natin tong magamit for years to come. One Christmas tree tip I would give everybody, and I gave this tip to Julia last year, because Julia celebrated her first Christmas in her own home. So her home away from my home. And so she has to start her own traditions. Kahit wala siyang mga anak pa, she should have her own traditions. And she was Christmas tree shopping last year. And I only gave her one advice. I told her, Julia, pag bumili ka ng Christmas tree, you have to make sure that it is the theme, the color, and the design that you want. And you know you will want for that at least a minimum of five years. Hindi pwede ngayon, I spend so much on a tree, tapos this year it's pink, and then next year, ah, oh, gusto kong mag-red, tapos magpapalit ka. Your Christmas tree should really reflect on your character, your mood, your personality. Hindi siya something that you buy dahil uso. It's something that you think na, okay, pag binili ko to, it's a good investment. Because I'm gonna carry this over with me for many, many years to come. And that's the story of my Christmas tree. Several years ago, like when Erich was newly born, her first Christmas, syempre excited kang may bata ka sa bahay. So, I had that face na I had candy canes and yung balls ko were snowman na, na nagla-light up yung nose niya. There's a red light going on and all of that. And then, I don't put too many Christmas lights because I'm afraid that it will overheat and sumabog. And then we put like this, the twigs, you just put it on the tree. But I will not take credit ha, for fixing my Christmas tree. It's just my theme. Balls, na, I choose all of that. But I have someone doing it for me because it's kind of hard to make. It's very tricky to make your own Christmas tree. So after the Christmas tree, I'll lead you to the dining table. Okay, so this dining table is very familiar to all those who watch my vlogs or follow us on Instagram. This is where most of our special meals, our birthday celebrations, our Noche Buenas, everything happens in this table. This one, itong runners. I bought this many years ago sa Changi, ng Green Hills. If you notice, they have stalls there na they have yung mga embroidery, mga coasters, mga Christmas towels, and table runners. All of that, they have it there. And I've kept this for so long. And I don't know, I really want to visit the Changi again in Green Hills. I really want to check what they still have. But you know, parang every time I go there for Christmas, I know that there's that one lady na nabibilhan ko nito and they're still there. I also buy this from her. She's an old lady in Shopsville, Changi. Pati yung mga lalagyan ng tissue paper. Ganon details. Even toilet paper holders. I got this from her. So you see, oh, it's so nice yung pagkakagawa. It's embroidered. 
embroidered and it's really special. And a good tip for this is this is a nice gift sa mga balikbayan nating mga kamag-anak sa America. So I have this. So pag Christmas kahit kotse ko, lalagyan ng Kleenex. Pasko pa rin. <laughs> and sa banyo ko, toilet paper holder, yung parang may section na ganoon, that's still from that lady that we buy from in Shopsville. Green Hills. So I'm going to turn you over to my um, area for my children and their Christmas stockings. So now we are here in the portion of my house where I put my Christmas stocking. So in the beginning, there was only my children. Pero my son in Lana. Okay, so I have Happy now and Millie, my granddaughter. So para mina yung para me. Pag dumami niyan, hindi ko na alam kung saan sila ilalagay. This one I also got in Green Hills in the Changye from that old lady. So she yung binihan ko na para sa mga anak ko. And then last year when Danny was married and with a child. Tumakbo ko ulit doon sa old lady sa Green Hills where I buy all my embroideries from and I was so grateful na meron pa siyang Christmas stocking na hindi maiiba yung design niya from my children. So because, so it's now Happy Danny and Millie and of course Julia, Claudia, Leon and Erich. And then, a few stalls away from where I buy the Christmas stocking, meron silang nag -e embroider ng mga tuwalya. So, dun ko na rin pina-embroider yung mga pangalan nila. And really, I hope after this pandemic, everybody would still be in business because it would be so nice to go back to Green Hills and still find the lady who sells these, all of my Christmas stuff, and also yung nag -e embroider Here they are, my family. So, here I am in my kitchen studio. You know, actually, this is not my kitchen in my home. This is a kitchen bar really meant for pag my parties, my gatherings dito. But ever since I've started my vlog, dito na ang aking kitchen studio. This is where I cook most of my meals. And it has become my favorite area. Ngayon, kahit hindi ako nag-vlog, dito na ako nagluluto ng meals for my kids. But anyway, of course, we have to feel the Christmas spirit kahit sa ating mga kusina. And it does not have to cost a lot. Okay, so yung mga sobra-sobra kong Christmas balls from the over the years, nilagay na natin dyan sa taas. We also put lights. And then these containers, I got this from the Pitan. And then of course, kahit yung lalagyan ng sabon natin, kailangan in theme. <laughs> kailangan red pa rin. For Sundays, it's so nice kasi pag gabi na, we can turn off the very aggressive looking lights and we put on these lights and then nagluluto kami while chatting with my kids there. Nagluluto kami and it's so cozy and you really feel Christmas with matching Christmas songs. It's the sense of smell when you really, it triggers a lot of memories and you hear certain music, it really brings back so much special memories. So it really does matter na to play a lot of Christmas songs while the kids are eating or when you're together because this one will trigger their memories when they're, they're older. Na parang, oh, you know that it's Christmas season because of the Christmas songs. Another thing that makes me really feel Christmas is yung scent. Yung smell of the home. I have a certain spray that I hope to find right now so I could share with all of you, but it's pine scent. And the minute I spray it on the Christmas tree, on the sofa, or just around the room, immediately you feel like you're in the middle of a pine place. Alam mo talagang Pasko, Pasko, very, very fresh yung amoy. We have our Christmas party here with my family and then we have Christmas Eve in the States for how many years already. I even bring that scent. I bring that spray with me so that I can spray it every so often sa kung anong tinitirahan naming bahay doon. And they know that that scent is the scent of Christmas in my mom's home, in my home. And I really would like my kids to remember Christmas in a very, very special way through smell, through food, and through songs. So I want to thank everybody for joining me today as I share with you one of the highlights of the Barreto Christmas traditions here in my home. And just to let you know that this is only the beginning of this Christmas vlog series. I will be sharing with you the making of my very, very special Christmas Village collection. 
And of course, I'm going to share with you some Noche Buena recipes that you can start and probably cook for your family. So thank you for joining me today. Merry Christmas!